In an unprecedented move, the United States has directly appealed to China to rein in North Korea's involvement in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, signaling a potential shift in regional dynamics. Secretary of State Antony Blinken revealed, We had a robust conversation just this week, emphasizing the urgency of the situation and the expectations placed on China. Blinken stated, We'll see if they take action highlighting the critical role China is expected to play in curbing North Korea's provocative military activities. With approximately 10,000 North Korean soldiers already in Far East Russia and up to 8,000 more likely to join the fight in Ukraine's Kursk region, the stakes have never been higher. But there's more to this story than just troop movements. North Korea's recent test of a new intercontinental ballistic missile capable of striking anywhere in the United States has further heightened tensions. Blinken strongly condemned the missile launch, calling it a flagrant violation of multiple UN Security Council resolutions. The deepening North Korea-Russia partnership has become a major concern for the United States and its allies in the region. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin challenged China's stance, saying, If China is serious about its desire for de-escalation, it should be asking Russia some hard questions at this point. However, China's response has been tepid at best. Liu Peng Yu, spokesman for the Chinese embassy in Washington, reiterated China's consistent and clear position on the Ukraine crisis, emphasizing support for peace talks. South Korean Foreign Minister Cho Tae-yul confirmed ongoing high-level talks with China regarding the North Korea-Russia military partnership. Yet, South Korean Defense Minister Kim Yong-hyun noted, China still continues to be silent, suggesting that China might only intervene when its own interests are directly affected. The US-China Economic and Security Review Commission reports that China has refused to condemn Russia's war actions and continues to support them through financial and technological means. This support comes despite China's membership in the UN Security Council, which demands that North Korea and Russia cease provocative military actions violating UN resolutions. Blinken expressed grave concern over Russia's training of North Korean soldiers, stating, Russia has been training DPRK soldiers in artillery, UAVs, basic infantry operations, including trench clearing. This training not only bolsters Russia's forces, but also provides valuable experience for North Korea's military, potentially destabilizing the region further. The situation has prompted increased cooperation between South Korea, Japan and the United States, as they seek to counter the growing threat from authoritarian regimes in the Indo-Pacific and European fronts. As tensions rise, the international community watches closely to see if China will heed the US plea and use its influence to curb North Korea's actions. The outcome of this diplomatic push could have far-reaching consequences for global security and the balance of power in East Asia. With North Korea's increasing military capabilities and its deepening ties with Russia, the urgency for diplomatic intervention has never been more apparent. The coming days and weeks will be crucial in determining whether China will step up to play a constructive role in de-escalating tensions or continue its policy of non-interference. As the situation unfolds, the world holds its breath, waiting to see if this diplomatic gambit will succeed in averting a potential escalation of the conflict.